Hello everyone, this is Raja here and in today's tutorial we are going to learn about what is XHTML, what is tag and what is attribute. So it is another tutorial of our HTML and CSS series where we are going to go in deep depth about tags and attribute and we are going to also take a look about what is XHTML. So let's start with XHTML. So what is XHTML? XHTML stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language and it is basically same as HTML but it is just a precise way of writing HTML. So what do you mean by precise way of writing HTML? So it is like you need to write it with more syntactical way and uh, you need to follow all the syntax and ensure uh, that the same format is being maintained throughout the documents and like it is accepted well by all the browsers. So the benefit with XHTML is that uh, like it, it helps us to set a standard and with HTML like it can always happen like uh, some tags or some attributes may be uh, interpreted by some browser in different way and some other browser in a different way. So we can, we need, we think, uh, we sh if we write uh, the code in XHTML format, then it gives us uh, like a fixed standard uh, so that our same code like goes well with all the browsers and it works fine without any issues. So let's see a HTML, a better say an XHTML code and let's discuss on it. So this is something which I have written. Uh, in, in our previous tutorial also we have written this doc type HTML. But previously we haven't written something like HTML lang equal to en. So if you if you want to write a simple HTML code you can write just you can just create a simple file and you can create a hello world and you can run it it will go fine with the browser like if i do a new file and i i write hello and i save it as a something like new dot html let's replace it and then if I open that file and I open that file then it works fine so why should we write all this uh, mumbo jumbo what is written over here my hello works fine if, if you want to display high world it works fine whatever you write it works fine but like these tags gives you the capability and power to design your content to make it more suitable for the world to see to understand and to make it visually graspable and and uh, like to digest your content similarly like uh, when we add these uh, doc types and lang and meta cassette and if, I'll, don't worry, I'll dis discuss everything uh, like uh, what these are actually. So when whenever we add these things, like it helps the browser to identify what are you trying to write in this code, what are you trying to write in this page, understand it, and then display the content in their browser. So doing by doing that, it it makes the standard of the page the same across all the browsers and there is no disparity so so guys uh, this is uh, like a good understanding of what xhtml is all about now let's go to tags so tags like uh, if you see uh, we had a little discussion about tags in our previous tutorial like head is a tag title is a tag body is a tag so everyone everything like in HTML is within a tag 
so in these tag all these tags have different capabilities like if i write title and say hello my browser will understand that i am trying to display something not within the uh, the display area but something on the title section and it will display my hello here and not here so these tags have different set of capabilities like when, when i display h1 it understand that i am trying to display a header one and it is displaying in this area within a fixed format when i am trying to write a paragraph it is displaying here and similarly all the other tags have their functionality so this is all about tags so there are two types of tag you can say one is open tag one is close tag and there are there are also some tags which are just uh, like um, they are not open closed they are single tags like you can take example of break like pr uh, if i say say something like let me write something here uh, let me write another p another p in small oh, sorry my caps is on another p and let me write my name is and let's say i want to print my name as a different line and let me say a pr and i want it here raja and i i just close the p tag i saved it and i refresh it and you see it is in the same paragraph like it was here but since i use a break there my name fell down into a different line so this is another type of a tag in which it doesn't need a closing tag but only one of uh, occurrence is sufficient enough so depending upon the functionality we have lot of different tags we will be using lot of tags in our tutorials and programs uh, like which we are going to do and which we are going to see and as we go down the line you your familiarity with these tags going to increase now let's go down uh, line by line uh, this uh, code and uh, that is uh, like what i said uh, this is uh, something about tag let go line by line with this code and have some more familiarity about what is attributes so what is attribute attribute is something like uh, if we had tags then why we need attributes so attribute is something which is related with the tags and it gives some more information to the tag like uh, what the tag should do like uh, an html here is fine fine as a single tag an opening tag and html here is a closing tag but this when we added this like lang en it gives us another capability for this for the browser to understand that this html document is written in english language so this attribute gives some additional information to the browser about what this tag is actually doing if we come here about meta meta itself is sufficient enough but when we add cares at utf8 then it explains the browser that all the uh, content written in the document will be in utf8 and not any other care set so this is what uh, uh, the attribute does so let's let's take a look of another attribute like ahref uh, so ahref is like an anchor tag don't worry i'll disp i'll explain this whole program after i explain this attribute ahref is like anchor tag it is like uh, anchor tag is used for uh, to have a link uh, which will take us to some somewhere else in some other document which i said in my previous uh, tutorial that uh, like hypertext markup language is all about 
like a linked documents like there will be a lot of uh, links in one document and if you click on one link you will go to the another link so href is anchor uh, which reference to uh, this uh, URL and it finally is take me uh, like it, it gives uh, this URL capability like it if, if I click on here I will go to this URL so a says when I click on here I will go to this URL so this attribute here uh, uh, like href gives the capability uh, to A to understand where it will go when I will click on here so I hope you guys got that uh, and let's uh, uh, let's uh, go to our program uh, what we have written here let's refresh the page here I haven't saved it I think let me save it and refresh the page here yeah so this is the program what we have written is uh, in the first line I have written doc type HTML where I am explaining that the doc type that is written here is in HTML HTML in the next line it is HTML language is English and it's the HTML opening tag then comes the head head section head section is up to here here I am giving two information like the meta cassette like the cassette which is we are using is UTF-8 and the title will be hello so this title is hello is displaying here then we are coming to body in body in the header I am displaying hi world three exclamation mark and it is also coming down here fine and in and then I am coming in a paragraph which is opening here and closing here so all this text text here is in a paragraph in this paragraph I am writing my YouTube channel link is like up to here I am writing in this paragraph my YouTube channel link is here and in this here I am uh, putting it within an anchor tag and this anchor tag is referring this to my YouTube channel link you can write any 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 link there whatever like I you can write uh, the URL of Google is and you can give HTTPS google.com www.google.com and you can link it like that way and I have linked that uh, similarly here and I've closed the paragraph tag I've closed the body tag head was already closed here and I have closed the HTML tag so after I done this it basically created this page and you see when I hover onto here in the lower area it, it, it gives uh, the URL of YouTube my channel and when I click into it it will go to my YouTube channel where I am like displaying all my videos and you can go and check all my videos down here so uh, guys this this was a short tutorial on um, our HTML tags and attributes so it was uh, our second of the series uh, let me know your views about this tutorial and um, stay tuned we will get back to you uh, on our uh, next tutorial if you like this uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel uh, consider subscribing uh, if you have any doubt or any comments uh, please uh, give it on the comment section it will help me encourage a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.